if you've ever taken apart your mini BMW or Super before, you'll know that you come across a bunch of different connectors. And while some of them are pretty straightforward to disconnect, others are a pain to disconnect, reconnect, or heck, even both. So today, Beamer Tech is gonna show you how to tackle any of the cables you may come across if you're doing something like swapping your head unit. Now the connectors we show you may differ slightly in size and shape depending on the model BMW you have, or you may notice that you have more or less connectors depending on the options you have. But the concept is still the same as BMW uses the same type of connectors in the same area across all of its models. You might have to pop off some trim that has the start stop button on it. To disconnect this, depress the small tab and pull it out. To reconnect it, simply push it back in. If you run into lock and hazard buttons, you'll be happy to know that the hazard button is very similar to the start-stop button. Depress the tab and pull to remove it, and push it back in to replace it. The lock connector simply pulls out and you push it back in. For faceplates, if you run into these connectors with arms, press down the tab on top and rotate the arm up and pull the connector out. All right, pause. I do want to stress the importance of these connectors. The process is easy to mess up and that can make them easy to break. Again, to remove them, press down on this tab here, then rotate the arm all the way. At this point, you could simply remove the connector. Putting it back is where even the pros can mess up. Make sure you start with the arm all the way in the unlocked position as shown here. Next, align the connector into the correct position like so. Then, as you are gently pressing down, rotate the arm and you will feel the connector pull itself into place. If you feel yourself forcing it, stop. You don't want to break the arm off. After the arm snaps into place, pull the connector a bit to make sure it's locked in. For something like this that you may find on the HVAC controls, simply pull. Push it back in to reinstall it. For the head unit itself, you'll come across a few more types of connectors. While these connectors may differ depending on which head unit you have, let's take a quick look at what each of these connectors and wires actually do. Here's a basic example using an NBT head unit. Again, you may have more or less connectors. Pull up on the white tab and then press the tab in to unlock the connector and pull it out. Wait, time to pause again. These are also prone to breaking, so let's make sure we do them right. First, make sure the white tab is all the way up. Next, gently pressing in the tab, pull the connector free. It may be tight. Don't put too much pressure on the tab or it will break off, which is not good. To put it back, make sure the tab is all the way up and then press the connector in place and then slide the white tab down to lock it. You shouldn't need to force anything. For quad locks, press in the tabs on the side, rotate the arm and pull out. To replace it, push the connector in until it can't go any further, then rotate the arm. That will pull it all the way down. It is the same for our BeamerTech plug and play harness as well. If you have one of these thinner connectors, there is a small tab on the side that you have to press in and then pull the connector out. To replace it, press it back in until it clicks. These look different depending on what model BMW you have, but push in the tab and pull out. These can be very, very tight, so something like a BeamerTech trim tool can be used for leverage. To plug them back in, push them in all the way. For these smaller ones, if you have them, push the tab and pull up. They reconnect by pushing them down. Another common connector, if you're installing something like our wireless CarPlay and Android Auto MMI Prime, would be the fiber optic cable. Located in the quad lock, use a pick tool to lift up on the tab and pull it out. To put it back, push it back in until it snaps. As you can see, BMW loves their connectors, but if you follow this guide, you should have no problem getting them on and off. I hope BeamerTech was able to help you complete your project. We do have plans on covering other areas of connectors and BMWs, so let us know in the comments below which area you would like to see us do next. For more tips and tricks, product reviews, and so much more, make sure you subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell. And hey, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok as well. Thanks for watching. Jarrett, you left this off the car again.